of course. Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we're looking at the last one I needed in the wave. Crosshair from The Bad Batch. This looks absolutely fantastic. I uh, just did a bit of a package unboxing for my members. Uh, it's just a little exclusive bit of extra content I do on my channel now. Um, you know, just, just mail calls basically. Get a mail, get some mail, open up some boxes, put out a little little raw uncut video for the members. So appreciate all my members' support. I've got four guys on 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 the books now, so I really do appreciate all of them. And uh, yeah, it's just that fun little bit of extra stuff that I'm trying to trying to put out. Um, but yeah, definitely excited to open up Crosshair. This guy looks fantastic. Um, so let's do exactly that, and we'll take a look. All right, here is Crosshair out of the packaging, and this figure looks absolutely fantastic. Cool accessories, great likeness, and of course my dog decided he wants to go and walk around my room while I'm recording, so he was literally laying still for a good good five minutes before I even started this, but now that I'm talking, he wants to run around like a galoot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this figure is absolutely fantastic. Get a nice close-up look at that head sculpt. I'm glad to see this one doesn't have any of the sort of glossy issues um, that Hunter sort of had with half of his face at least. Um, I did do a sort of a video looking over how to combat that. So if you if you missed that, jump back on my channel and check it out. I only dropped it last week, so it's still still fresh. Again, we've got some great looking uh, sort of variation of the clone armor here. All the sort of scratches and stuff is in the detail there. Looks absolutely awesome but the head sculpt is uh, fantastic. And yeah, dog needs to be everywhere right now. Especially love the actual crosshair tattoo over his eye there. Love that. That is such a, such a great detail. Well, I do love that they are very much what they're meant to be in like sort of genetic mutations of the original clone. Um, and they all have just very slight, slight appearances that look the same. So again, all through the armor here, there's nicks and scratches. I wish they sort of popped a little bit more, but um, that's fine. I'm happy with it. And the legs. I like the little uh, Clone Force 99 logo there. The 99 there on the uh, on the shoulder. So there is a peg on his back, much like Hunter. So his backpack, which goes on there. Difference being is this one has a groove cut out of it because he comes with this bad ass sniper rifle. Now, unfortunately, not a lot of detail in terms of paint, but the sculpt of this thing is fantastic. It uh, pulls apart into two pieces. So that's cool. It's a nice little, nice little detail there. I like that a lot. So we can sort of uh, pull it apart and put it together. Now there is a peg on the side here. We'll try and work out where that's going to go very, very shortly. So I actually might leave it unconfigured like that. Uh, he also comes with a pistol here um, that will fit nicely in, in cross his holster there. Ah, peg hole. All right. Just gonna put that in like that. I'm assuming it will just sit in the side like that. I need to hit some reference photos before I uh, see which which way it actually goes. But that seemed to fit all right. So I'm going to leave it. Leave it that way for the moment. So now we'll take a quick look at his helmet. Again, really nice design. Again, that sort of sort of crosshair. There was one line going up. The other, the other line is obviously through the middle of the mask there. Adjustable range finder, which is nice. Just a cool looking clone helmet. Let's see if it fits nice and snug. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and snug. Not too loose. Could 
probably adjust a little bit, but that's okay. So there's the rangefinder. He's uh he's looking armed. And if you've picked apart the latest trailer like me, it seems like Crosshair may be a bit of a turncoat. It's not a spoiler, it's mere speculation, but um there are a lot of shots in the trailer without Crosshair. And there is someone that looks eerily like him uh, leading the uh, elite soldiers. So we will see. But yeah, I'm really happy to have this guy. He looks fantastic. Awesome looking figure. Okay, so there is one minor little hiccup here, which I have heard about. So he's using the same forearm as Hunter and Hunter had a knife sheath on the side. And uh, yeah, Hasbro has just left the hole there on this figure. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It's a little bit lazy. Um, I will find something quite easily to uh, fill that in, but uh, the fact that they just sort of left that unfilled, uh, that's, it's, a, it's a little bit lazy, but uh, you know, it's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll work with it. Shouldn't have to fix the figures, but uh, <laughs> it's the world we live in now, isn't it? So there is Crosshair. Hope you've enjoyed this review. review. Hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I uh, try and keep pretty well up to date with all the figure releases and reviews. Never too far behind the eight ball there. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And hit the little notification bell so all my uh, videos hit your inbox as soon as, as, soon as they go live. And uh, also, like I mentioned earlier, consider membership. There's a, a video on my homepage for you just to go up and see the join. You can watch a little video of me sort of introducing uh, memberships. And, uh, you know, I've got a good little crew going now. It's some great, great support. And I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, just trying to work on some little extra behind the scenes content for everyone that does join up. So all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And until my next video, may the force be with you always.